Here's the question for you. I know you're going to like this one. So what are your thoughts on bearded dragons in the Northern Hemisphere sleeping during the summer here? And then people saying, oh, it's them brumating because they're like instinctually remembering that it would be winter in Australia this time of year. So, um, no, that's not, that's, so what we did experience, so we went out late summer one year and this was during, um, my study was done during Australia's, you know, centenary drought like one of the worst droughts we've seen it peaked in those you know massive bushfires and everything like that and we went out there and the summer we it was end of summer like late february early march and the days were like 40 degrees and the nights hadn't been below 30 degrees for a month and we saw no bearded drag why because and and this is typical in the hottest part of the year breeding activity stops at around christmas the summer solstice and then you get this intense heat where the nighttime temperatures stay high so they instinctively in the peak of summer they estivate why because in the peak of summer there's no food around it's too hot for any greenery um so they're not out because it's too hot the higher temperature they are their metabolism increases and they use up food reserves so in the wild when it gets to the hottest part of summer they will stay in their escape burrows or stay sheltered out of the sun trying to stay as cool as possible and don't bask because basking is causing them to you know use up energy which really you're in an arid environment and they don't have that energy to avail with and it's not until you get to the end of depending on what the season's like until those temperatures and nighttime temperatures start coming down and then they'll start coming out the thing that cues them to come out and start basking is the rain because when the rain comes termites come to the surface and then they start they so they get water and they get food and then they need to metabolize that so it's not this throwback to, you know, my Australian ancestors in the outback. It's they're doing what they're meant to do, which is reduce the basking, reduce using up energy until further later in the season when the food supply becomes more prominent. Even though, you know, there's someone there giving them greens and as many woodies as uh, as many roaches they can eat within 15 minutes type thing even though there's heaps of food that no, their instinct tells them no this is the peak the days are the longest um to preserve myself um and use the least amount of energy as possible uh what would you say like when some i think some people my bear dragon would just sit in the corner in the cool end and just sit there and just watch the day go by when it's this time of year um what would you say when someone's got a bit of dragon that's actively like asleep this time of year in the northern hemisphere they shouldn't be get it checked out by a vet um if as in sleeping as in like brumation type sleeping yes yeah. That, yeah i would definitely get it checked out um you know this is their active season um i think we've just come past the summer solstice so you know there will be some reduction of activity males their testes are shrunk um, and they're at a point where, you know, they're not worried too much about territory. So it is, you know, it's the summertime. They're meant to be more active and at least alert. If they're not alert, get it checked out by vet, find out everything's going well. A lot of the time, um, if it's sleeping, it, it could be sick females that have are egg bound or have a rotten egg inside them. Um, you know, they go lethargic. Um, the peak of the summer, so we also get, you know, in this estivation time, it's a stressful time for them as well. And their intestinal parasites increase as well, just because their body's under stress. And if they've, their intestinal parasites have gone out of control, um, it's causing pain and lethargy as well. So, um, yeah, definitely get it checked out, um, get bloods done if, um, that's what's required by the, what the vet thinks and then get to the bottom of it because, yeah, no, they shouldn't. When they estivate, they're still 
alert. They're not, you know, it's not the same state as a brumation. So they still like stick your head in there. The ones that, you know, in the hottest of summer and we found them, they, they still, they'll see you and they'll take off, but they're just, you know, in a rest, resting state, trying to stay out of direct sun and stuff like that. They just really want to sit in the corner and stay as cool as possible. The clip you've just watched is just a snippet of a larger podcast episode where we had Beedver on the podcast. If you want to find the full podcast episode, you can find that up here. Or if you want to carry on looking through the Beedver Explained series, you can find the rest of it down here.